Uh, welcome back everybody. So we're doing another video outside and today's video topic is going to be about a show that just came out today on Netflix and it's called Three Body Problem. So Three Body Problem is based on a book and it's frankly my favorite science fiction book. Uh, it's considered a hard science fiction book because they use a lot of actual scientific stuff like terminology and research in the actual uh, book. So before we get into it, so if there's eight episodes for season one on Netflix and there is also a official Chinese version of the show on the Chinese side unless they took it out already but I have watched about four episodes on the Chinese side of Netflix and it is really really good so I'm not going to go into the spoilers of the actual series it's based on three books the first book is called Three Body Problem the second book is called the Dark Forest, which I just finished reading a few nights ago, just in time for the show's release. And then there's a third book called Death's End. So that one I have not read yet. It is the next book that I will be reading. Sorry guys, if it's a little bit windy. I am outside and it's a pretty windy day today in Montreal. This video we're going to be viewing and kind of reacting to the first episode. I'm going to try to keep it under 10 minutes. Hopefully the show does have an official uh, Twitter account called three body and there's also three body universe. So I recommend checking them out. Sishin Lu, who is the writer of the series of books. He also has a Twitter, but he doesn't seem to be that active on it, unfortunately. I wish he was because I would love to pick his brain on some things uh, about three body problem, specifically the soften, the sofans. All right, so I'm going to rip off the bandaid just to start with. So this is, like I said, is going to be a review reaction to the first episode of three body problem. So it's made by the makers of Game of Thrones. So the thing that I noticed right off the bat. So the show starts off episode one. It starts off very brutally. And just in case that you guys aren't aware. So what we saw happening in the beginning of uh, episode one, that brutal scene where the guy gets pretty much uh, killed on the stage. That is pretty much what actually happened in those days in China under communist China when things were like so in, so insane. So that part finishes and it transitions to 2024 current day, right? Sofons, are you listening? The Sofons are always listening. So it cuts, it cuts to modern, uh, modern times. Scene starts off very, very uh, well, it's a investi they're investigating a, uh, a crime scene and the guy has gouged out his eyes. And on the wall, you see a message that, that says, I can still see it. So what is it referring to? Well, that is a sequence of numbers that we come across a few minutes later. So then it keeps on going back and forth, back and forth with the American side of the story and then the past for the Chinese side of the story. So by the third or fourth transition, it starts becoming really obvious. And there's no other way that I could, that I could say this, but it very much feels like there's two teams that wrote that are making the show. One, the Chinese 
favorite part of the production and then the house of the dragon side of the production theme. and it's very very jarring because it's 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 so it's so in your face about it that you can't help but feel like there's two different teams working on it, a Chinese team and the American team. Like there are, many people will be upset about this, but there are uh, gender swaps that happen, especially with main, uh, main characters. There's a lot of annoying humor, which I find that to be the most annoying part of the show. And there is also another thing that I find really, really annoying. There's a lot of swearing on the English side of the show. But whenever it switches back to the Chinese part of the show, it's very, very enjoyable. And it's very, very faithful. As far back as I can remember, it's very faithful to the actual book. So I'm going to give it some more watches because it is very well acted for the most part. My favorite character in the book was Da Shi or his formal name Kang Shi. And for some reason they changed his name in the in the in the show to be Clarence Shi. So I'm not sure why they they felt the need to change his name uh, to Clarence. He's a Chinese actor playing a Chinese role, so why change it to an American name? Which is, again, lends more credence that it feels like there's two different teams that are working on the show. So I don't know, man, I hope YouTube pushes this, uh, this video out. If you guys are fans of the book, if you guys have read the book, what do you guys think? I'm really looking forward to making my video about so fans, especially what I think about them and the implications because man there's a lot bro there's so many comparisons so many parallels in the book uh, especially the first book from our times and it's really really mind-boggling so three books have changed my life book number one the Bible. Book number two, 1984. Book number three, Three Body Problem. And then there's my fourth favorite book, which is The Master and Margarita. Each book affected my life in different ways. So this book is as eye-opening and parallel drawing as 1984 was. So hopefully this video gets pushed out. I might do hopefully a second part for episode number two. Hopefully it does start picking up and it does relax on the Americanization, the bastardization version of the show, because man, the, the Chinese version, you can find it on YouTube. I'll probably link it in the description. I very much recommend watching that one because it's so faithful to the book, almost word for word. And I wish that people watch that part of the show as well all right guys so thank you very much for tuning in and watching the video if you enjoyed it drop a like if you didn't enjoy it drop a dislike subscribe if you want to come back for more videos turn on those notifications if you absolutely don't want to miss anything that i put out i appreciate you guys and i'll catch you on the next one Jigavega out. Always beware of the soul farm.